A police officer spends many hours behind the wheel of a police cruiser. Today's modern police cruiser is more than just a car with lights and a siren. It's a mobile office that is equipped to allow an officer to perform his or her job without having to spend time driving back and forth to police headquarters. Almost two-thirds of the one-eight cent public safety sales tax that is collected for the Independence Police Department is spent to buy, equip, and maintain police cruisers. Please follow along as the police department's electronic fleet technician, John Largent, shows us how he takes a car like this and turns it into an Independence Police Cruiser. Hello, my name is John Largent. I'm the police fleet electronics technician for the Independence Missouri Police Department. My responsibilities involve equipping and outfitting all the police vehicles for the men and women of the police department. The Independence Police Department is currently utilizing the Ford Interceptor Taurus and the Ford Interceptor Explorers as their main patrol vehicles. When we receive the cars from Ford, when we purchase them from a local dealer, they come as the base police package with very little to no police equipment. They will come equipped with the spotlight that you see on the left hand A pillar and a few emergency lights, but the rest of the vehicle is upfitted internally through the police department. We add all the computers, the radios, the lights, the camera systems, and everything that this office, the officers need to make this a, uh, a mobile office, per se. This is where their work environment is 12 hours a day. With upfitting these vehicles, when we, go, we get this vehicle and we go to perform an upfit or an installation of emergency equipment, we remove all the door panels, essentially all the interior of the car. All of the seats come out, all the door panels, the headliner, and portions of the dash. At that time, we run approximately 2,500 feet of cable or wiring throughout the vehicle. When we uh, start the upfit on a vehicle from the beginning of when the car is from the factory new to when it goes, is eligible to go on the road or available to go on the road, takes about a week or 40 hours per car to do the, the installation. Starting at the front of the vehicle, we install an aftermarket push bumper. The push bumper houses our siren speakers and our forward low lighting for side and front warning as we enter an intersection. As we move back through the car, the vehicles are equipped with side fender lighting for side lighting in an emergency situation as well as mirror lights. We move back to the overhead light bar, which all vehicles are equipped with. Every light bar we have on the road is all LED lit. They also have an Opticom emitter in the middle of the light bar. The Opticom emitter is what signals the traffic signal as the officer approaches in an emergency mode to turn his light green and all other directions red so that he can proceed safely through the intersection to the call. It shortens the response time as well as enhances the safety of the officer and the public. Mobile data terminals in the cars allow the officer to communicate with dispatch with other officers to receive real-time information and data in the field and complete the reports while they're out in the field in their assigned work areas. This minimizes the amount of downtime for the officers having to return to the station and complete reports there. With that being said, they can handle their response times are much quicker because they are out in the field ready to deploy at a moment's notice. The officers use the radios to communicate between themselves as well as the dispatch facility, communications facility at headquarters. The radio systems have been enhanced to a much further degree in recent times to where we can communicate with other outside agencies through regional talk groups. Each marked police vehicle is equipped with a, a mobile video camera. It records through the windshield through a high definition camera what, what occurs in front of the vehicle, whether the officer is responding to the call or on the scene of a call. With that system, the officer also wears a body mic. This records all of his audio, whether he is in the vehicle or outside of the vehicle. Any communications he might have with citizens or contact that he might have with a citizen would be audibly, audibly recorded and stored. And then when the vehicles return to headquarters, they will wireless, wirelessly transmit and download all the audio and video to a server located in the police station. A frontline patrol car in the patrol division will uh, average about 35,000 miles a year. Most of our cars run uh, two shifts a day, 12 hour shifts, so they run 24 7, 365. When those vehicles have 70 to 80,000 miles on them, then we will roll those into a support unit function elsewhere in the police department, not only to maximize the life of the vehicle, but the mileage warranty. We, that, the other units will not put as many miles on, so we get more years of the warranty versus running them out of warranty on mileage quicker. The police department repurposes much of the equipment seen on our cars on the road today. Many of the light bars are six to 10 years old and have been on multiple vehicles. We repurpose the computers, the mobile video, and communications equipment from car to car. If you were to buy a car, a base car with all equipment brand new to put this car on the road it would run you a little over $58,000. 
But by repurposing the equipment that we can and moving it from car to car, we were actually able to put a, a police car on the road for about $34,000. The city buys new vehicles for the police department with 100,000 mile warranties. If something breaks or needs repair with a vehicle, it goes back to the authorized factory service center where personnel with special training and equipment perform the work at no additional cost to the city. If you have questions or desire additional information regarding the city's police cars, please call 816-325-7271.